Oh boy. Oh boy. Hello. <laughs> I went live before I pressed the button on my camera. And now we're all screwed up. That's okay. Hello. If you're here early enough to see this monumental screw up. There we go. There we go. Hi. Hey, everybody. Oh, we did it again. Welcome. Nailed it. Hold on. Let's do that again. Oh. <laughs> oh, for two. All right. One more time. One more time. One more time. What's up? <laughs> it's your boy. Oh, man. Okay. That was perfect. We nailed it. Uh, hello. Welcome back uh, to Horizon Forbidden West. We are now at part three. And I'm feeling like today we're going to actually go somewhere with the story. Uh, I get so boggled down inside stuff that I can't help myself. And yet, though, so I, if you're looking at the title of this video, I know, I know I'm, I'm claiming... I'm claiming that I get boggled down with side stuff. And yet, like, what about that weird-ass board game? You haven't tried that yet. And, like, I don't know. Maybe I'll try it today. I don't know. I don't I don't know. You can't tell me what to do. Actually, you can. If you really want me to, I will. Uh, yeah, so uh, we'll just start off with a little bit of housekeeping. Just set the table. Um, part one is actually on YouTube already whole thing the whole four hour opening section my thoughts my everything is there uh part two is still down if you're on your phone or on your computer somewhere in this area it's still there you can watch that uh if and then that's also on youtube as well so also somewhere down there or around there or, i don't know navigate your phone you're smart um we have a twitter that we're starting to use a lot more um, I haven't really come up with a solid schedule yet. I, 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 softly Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays when I'm doing this, but there are times where I'm just going to be like, like I'll get home from work and, and my wife will be like, I don't feel like doing anything tonight. Do you want to stream? And I'm like, okay. So we're going to kind of, if you follow on Twitter, you'll be able to have a more up-to-date kind of thing. So <clears throat> yeah, with all that being said, I want to kind of just jump right into this. Um, I love this game so much already. And it's it's you know what I'm what I'm noticing what what I'm really appreciating about this game is it's not really doing anything new um where some open world games get into trouble. I feel like well so, uh, sorry, sequels to open world games like like I'll use Far Cry as an example. I think Far Cry 3 was awesome. And then I think Far Cry 4 was more Far Cry 3. And then Far Cry 5 was even more of that, just bigger. And I feel like this game, what they're doing is like, yes, a lot of the same tropes are there. You still have like, but the, it's, it's the same tropes, but they've made them different enough where it's cool. Like in the first game, I never set foot in the ruins. I didn't care about that. And then like the first ruin that we came across in the last episode, there was like a whole puzzle sequence to it. And then you get a thing at the end of it. That's like going to mean something later. And I just, it's, that's cool. The, the hunting grounds are, are, are slightly different. Um, so everything, everything is just different enough where I'm having a lot of fun with it. So I want to jump back into that. So we're going to jump back into that. Also, I'm bringing something back. I haven't done in a while because I've been streaming a lot during the daytime and I am not an alcoholic anymore so i don't drink during the daytime but we're bringing back stream beer stream beer everybody hey today we're drinking lena loggles because i still have summer shandies i know it's like it's february and they haven't sold summer shandies in a while but you know what whatever right who cares um today was like i don't know if you live in new york i live in new york and it it's it's been like 20, 30 degrees. Today was 65 degrees. It was so warm. So you know what? Summer shandy it is. Don't judge me. Anyway, let's ooh, get to it. Um, let's get this volume back up. Let's do a quick little zoom in on my face because that's partially why you're here. And boom. Let's 
jump back in. Here we go. Uh, if you are new, if this is your first time watching here, uh, we are playing on a PS5. And that is all. That is all I'm going to tell you. You don't need to know anything else about me. Okay, so. Right, so. Okay, wait, we finished up there. Uh, what is this one? Why does it want me to talk to the hunting ground person? I already beat that. What I should do is clean up some of this inventory. Let's just, I just want to make sure, right? So I have this skill where she smears paint on her face and then her ar bow, her arrows do more damage. And then I also have this skill, which um, I haven't actually used it yet, but it increases your chance to do critical hits. And I think the way that I can choose that range master, there's a way to switch between them. Oh shit, I just chugged a potion. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure how to switch between them because I'm kind of ahead of the game right now. The game hasn't really told us how to do this. So we're a little bit ahead of that. Um, we're going to go to this question mark and then... I See, so the other signal towers are gone. <clears throat> Excuse me. This one's... N oh no, it's a block path. This one's not. So I don't know if I got that one or not. So we're going to do this question mark right here. Oh, wait, no. We're going to do this question mark right... Oh, no. Wait. No, we're going to do this question mark right here. Because we're going to hit up this one on our way back. Because eventually we got to come back to uh, Baron Light before we can progress. So we're going to go up here. Then do this quest here. Then hit up Baron Light. And on our way to Baron Light, we'll clean up any question marks that are left. Okay, it's settled. Let's go. Oh, wait, was this the question mark that I couldn't get to? Piggy! I need your meat. So I can craft potions. Because I chugged it by accident. Oh, you know, I, I just realized I'm also, I'm blocking so much UI. There we go. Put me all the way up here. I don't think I could get to this question mark. I think that, let me step back a bit. I think that that question mark was unavailable to me. It was like those people that were like, leave us alone. Was it? I gotta go down, don't I? I do gotta go down. Can I climb down this? I can. Oh, oh my god. Oh god, no. I know you're not she- Oh, okay. We're good. Ooh, what's that? Nice. Positive green shine. Green shine is very valuable. Is this the question mark? Oh no, the question mark is in here. Sunken cavern. Ancient supply box, let's go. Okay, I wasn't sure if there was air up here. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything here. This might just be like a thing we have to come back to later.
I think eventually we get something. Yeah, see, we don't have the required. No, we can't do anything here. All right. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah, we we can't do anything here. Let's get out of here. There it is. Let's see. How do we get through? How do we get out of here? All right, so that's just another thing that we could potentially do in the future, which is nice. Uh, we don't have the proper equipment for that, so we're going to just leave that and not worry about that. Does a little marker go there? Nothing? So it doesn't show us on... Oh, okay, there it is. Okay. So now let's get up this tower. This might be a waste of time. I might have already climbed that, but I can't for the life of me remember. Oh my god, look at that camp. Oh, Piggy! What? There you are! Don't disappear like that, Piggy! Did you see that? He straight up disappeared. Oh boy. Oh boy, we're walking in places we shouldn't be walking. Let's get back to the path. Okay. Okay, we need to go the opposite way. Piggy! No, it's okay. All right, we're gonna go around. Maybe we'll climb up there. Maybe we'll actually use a, a fast pass, a fast travel pass or something. Red hue quarry. How is this gonna get us up there? I don't know. No, because the path is gonna take us around. Oh, so I just, mm, I went in a big circle. That's okay. We were just here for a mission. Oh wait, no. We did that already. That was the mission, a mission took us there. Right? I think we were there. Oh, this is gonna bother me. We're gonna explore it anyway, but this all, we, we did this last time. I'm almost positive we did this already. I'll be able to tell when we get closer. What is that? A blast trap? I wish I could remember. Oh, right. We can't go up there because they won't let us pass. Okay, we can't do that. Okay. Machine strike. Are we going to learn machine strike? Are we going to do it? Now that we wasted all that time. Alright, since we wasted all that time, I'm going to use a fast travel pack. Where can I go? Did I not unlock any campfires? I don't know. Do you not get... Maybe you don't get them just by walking past them in this game. I think you have to actually touch them or do something to them. Oh, we can. Oh, you can just do the settlements. Okay, that's good. Whoa! 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 You just came out of nowhere. Time to get Elvin to blow the whistle, then Wadis to bear light. All right, we're gonna do it. We're gonna learn this stupid game. Play, 
All right, let's learn how to play this game. Beginner set. All right, let's start off simple. Okay. The Tanakh like to say that Machine Strike is a game of pure strategy. We Not my cup of tea. a set of pieces. Each piece represents a kind of machine, and each machine is worth a different number of victory points. And to win the game, you'll need to gain seven victory points by destroying the opponent's machines. Okay. It can be tricky remembering the details of every machine, so we use these notes to keep track of them. You see that number on the top right corner? Yes. That there is how many victory points you'll get for destroying that machine. Notes also tell you how far a piece can move, how powerful their attacks are, the distance they can strike from, Okay. And of course, their health. Of course. Okay, that's enough for now. Let's just play. I own the board, so I get to choose who goes first. Since this is your first time, I'll let you go. Usually you get to choose which pieces to set on the board, but pick up that machine piece to your right. I want to move this one. And remember, oh. each machine can only move a certain distance. Take a look at your notes if you need a reminder. Okay. Easy enough, huh? Now, you get to move two machines each round. Okay. Perfect. We're forging onwards. Let me move my pieces. So it's like a strategy board game, which is what she said. And we're back to you. This time, why don't you try attacking one of them? Try with that machine on your right. Now move the piece close enough to attack one of my machines. Wait. When performing an attack, uh, okay. you'll be testing your machine's combat power against the opponent's. A and its own attack power. This board only has grassland terrain, which has no effect on a machine's combat power. Okay. And your current machine has so in total your machine's combat power equals two since my and just like your machine okay so this all, right, all right all right let me attack yeah yeah let's you keep going. A smart one finish up by not pulling any punches huh now grab that second machine of yours see how your machine can't move close enough to attack mine you can make your machine sprint that lets it move one space further but at what cost out. Downside to sprinting is that your machine can no longer attack. Oh. Now some players like to take a risk and overcharge their machine in cases like this. Overcharging lets you attack after a sprint, but it will damage your machine's health by two points. Okay. So use at your own discretion. Let's try doing that now so you can see what I mean. All right, so we're gonna overcharge and then attack. That's about it for your turn then. Okay. Now. I'll let you in on a that machine of yours, the one closest to me. Grab a hold of it. Same as in the wilds, machines have both armored points and weak points. You can see them marked on the pieces. Blue shows where their armor is thickest. Hit them there, and you'll do some damage. I tried hitting a red spot before, and it wouldn't let me. Now, red shows the machine's weak points. Hit those, and you'll deal a mighty blow. Here, let me show you. Rope. Now let that. Off the board she goes, and there's your first victory points. You don't have seven of them yet, so let's keep going. Your machine attacked mine, but hasn't moved yet. Go ahead and move downwards. You've already attacked a machine and moved your piece. But if you overcharge your machine, you can attack a second time. And by the look of your machine's health, you'd be sacrificing your piece to defeat mine. But sometimes overcharge your Okay, all right, I'm gonna do it. Jeez, gonna now, relax. <laughs> because your machine was knocked out at the same time as mine, we both get the victory points our machines are worth. Good news is, since you're the one attacking, you're gonna receive your victory points before I do, which means you can reach okay. the coveted seven victory point. That's why some now you'll notice you didn't get quite up to seven victory points. Well, there wasn't enough on the board. But you did destroy all my pieces. That means you're the. That wasn't so hard, was it? 
Just remember to it's like she knows I've been putting it off for three days. Be surprised the advantage you can gain over an opponent like that. I know it saved my behind in a game or two. I'll try and remember that. Oh, before I forget, these are all my spare pieces. I want the savior of Meridian to have them. It's a small set to be sure, but it should be enough to get you in on any strike games you find out there. You might even fancy looking out for them strike carvers. They've got all kinds of unique pieces that can turn a game, though they'll need the ore. Oh my no, god. No need to. Now, I could even teach. Thanks. There we go. Thank you. Oh, there's still so many more tutorials. Oh my god. I'm not doing any more right now. You know where to find me, Red. All right, we did it. We learned. That's actually not so bad. Oh, wait, can we hang out with her? Come for that beer after all, eh? Here, sit down. Get a pint in her hand. You know, I will. Wasn't Petra's nice. Wasn't expecting you to swing by. Since when do I do what's expected? <laughs> There's that spark. Fire and spit. Uh, fire and spit. That's a blast from the bellows. Won't fix the forge, but at least I can forget about my troubles for a while. Like what? Take your pick. We got bodies to bury from the bristlebacks, the work stoppage. Well, I just solved the work stoppage. Years about his concession decree. Hey, weapons off the table. Ah, don't listen to me. Nothing a cold brew and knocking some heads together can't fix eventually. I... So the bristlebacks in the daunt. I already took care of them. You're a pig. So I think we, uh, the game Last thought we were going to talk to her before we did these missions. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. <sighs> Lost some good people. But bless the bellows, you cleared them out. Oh, now she knows. Olven Never mind. can't crank it to his advantage. He'll drag his feet on getting this place running again. But sooner or later, he'll have to blow that whistle. But how could Bristlebacks and the Daunt help Olvind? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the Bristlebacks came from, Olvind has taken to blaming the Karja for him. He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the workers since the day he rolled into town. About that. I think the Bristlebacks came out of Olvin's old mine. Now there's a spark that could light a fire. Can you prove it? I'm working on it. Why the forge? Grab my ear if you nail it down. Uh, I gotta well, go. I, uh, I have to be going. Thanks for the drink, Petra. I'm glad I stopped by. Anytime, flame hair. I don't really care enough to want to know anymore. Olvin's a piece of shit. I don't care how she got there. <laughs> All right. Wait, what? Oh, right. Savior, what news do you bring? Picked up the bristleback trail by the quarry. Looks like they stampeded out of a mine at the back of the valley. The mine? How could a herd of bristlebacks come from there? I'm not sure. But Alvin's workers were using explosives to tap the tunnels inside. For the love of Dawn, I told him it wasn't worth the risk. Those tunnels, they run for miles underground, even beyond the Daunt. No, you don't think... That Alvin's blasting opened up a passage from the other side? Perhaps. Yes, perhaps. If this is true, we need confirmation. An inquiry. So thorough, so irrefutable, endorsed by the savior. All right, I'll keep looking. All I right. need to go. Of course. Is that it? All right, let's talk to Olvind. If I'm gonna find out where the bristlebacks came from, I need to head further west. Another reason to get the embassy going? 
What do you mean I'm being oh, there. loud? <laughs> All right. Let's talk to this piece of Still shit. Here, I see. Time to blow the whistle. I cleared out all the bristlebacks. Oh, you did? Now that you've recovered from your shock, time to blow the whistle. Oh, there, not so fast. I'll have to send someone out to confirm the kills. Make sure the valley is safe again. It shouldn't take more than a day or two. <sighs> no. You blow the whistle now. These are innocent Osram lives we're talking about here. Surely the delay... Either you do it now, or I will. Ah, I knew you could do it! Friends, gather around. <laughs> what a piece of shit. The savior of Meridian has done now it again. What? The bristlebacks are defeated! Uh, you. What? Sound the whistle. Chain scrape is open for business! And Olvind has agreed to personally pay every worker their lost wages. Yeah! That's where I like it! Yeah! Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Don't you have an embassy to get to? Yeah. I guess I do. Merchants are now available. Thank you. Finally. Yeah, the chain scrapes back to work. Merchants should be open to trade. I should see if they have anything useful before I send Wadis off to Baron Light. Finally. All right. So first thing we're gonna do is look for. Oh, they're all like pretty much over here. Let's see if we can upgrade anything. Pouch upgrade. Nice, more arrows. <laughs> Brought out only the good stuff for you, Red. Seeing as you got that whistle blowing. Hey, I've been waiting to get my lucky hammer fixed for days. You haven't done anything useful like getting rid of any bristlebacks, though, have you? No. Take your time. No, I don't think she I has. She won't be disappointed. Ooh, that fire hunter bow. I have a warrior bow. So my warrior bow just does lightning arrows, I believe. Oh, this does fire and acid. I want that. <laughs> and I want the sharp shot bow too. I'm gonna replace it with rope cast. I'm ne I don't use rope casters. I never have, and I probably never will. Come back anytime. So that's the thing. But the only thing is now I have, yeah, I have two things that do acid arrows. But that's okay. Um. That's fine. I'll get a different hunter bow eventually. When do you think you can fix this lucky hammer of mine? Yeah, my current warrior bow is it's a shock warrior bow. Nora in the dawn. Now I've seen everything. Shut up. <laughs> Let me see if I could sell you some stuff. That's sell, 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 sell. Oh, it breaks it down for you as valuables to sell. Oh, wonderful. You, it used to be you'd have to like go through it and be like, can we use this, blah, blah, blah. It breaks it all down for you. Where can I sell green shine? Okay. So that's that merchant. Let's go into our stash real quick. 
take out everything that we need. Oh, I want to see the Stitcher. Stealth, power, and protection. What will you choose? Um. Okay, I was gonna say you're not giving me the option. <clears throat> Nora Huntress, the iconic outfit. Crafted for melee combat. So this... Let me compare it to what I'm currently wearing. Uh, oh. I think I like the anointed better anyway. Yeah, I like what she's wearing now better anyway. All right, let's talk to Walla, Wadiz. Let's talk to Wadiz. This motherfucker. The way to Baron Light is clear. Get moving. You're not Aaron Vanguardsman. I will move only when the captain when said- When I cleared out all the bristlebacks, which I have. Captain's orders. So they're okay. Banged up, but breathing. And waiting up ahead for you. But, but I, I was supposed to have three escorts. I'm off to Baron Light, Wadis. Like Aloy said, Captain's orders. You can stay here. Abandoned to the riffraff? I think not. Guess you're coming with me then. See you there, Aloy. With the riffraff? <clears throat> this guy sucks. Everybody sucks. Embassy. Now that that's done, the embassy can finally get underway. If I can get through it, I'll be able to track down Silence. Hades. <sighs> Maybe even a guy a backup. Guess I could head straight for Baron Light. Or poke around the dawn some more first. Oh, there's more side quests. Okay. Let's see what these people want, and then we'll, we're off. Wait, Baron Light is that way? Oh yeah, it is that way. Oh, it's in the bar, or, or pub, or whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> Man, the only way in is through this front door. Okay. Oh. Aloy. Back for more, huh? Yeah. Another round here? Oh god, another one. <laughs> Heard you've been busy. As for me, I'm gonna need a few more of these before I get back to the forge. Is there something on your mind? Didn't we just Well, things are But if you don't anyway. To come all oh, I saw. and there in a stormbird and Tallinn oh. clean brokers had his eye okay. on the salvage. That's already too much. Since. But the refugees have barred entrance. Mustn't interrupt their sun scorched ritual. Something about finding a twilight path. Huh. I've never heard them talk about that before. Yeah, well, these particular shadow carja are an odd bunch, but overall they're peaceful folk. Not that it matters to Tallinn. He'll crack some heads to get to that salvage. Maybe you could swing by, convince him to set up camp somewhere else. Sh yeah, wait, what Shadow Carja. Tell me about the Shadow Carja refugees. Well, they don't call themselves Shadow Carja for one, at least not anymore. They're some other brand of sun crazed. But whatever side of the sun they're on, they're peaceful through and through. Don't seem to want for nothing except a place to live, pray, and just enough food to keep from starving. So they're just camped outside by a trail, blocking entry to a wrecked stormbird, waiting for what exactly? Don't rightly know, but I'll tell you this. Should they ever wise up and salvage it, a stormbird heart is worth a lot. And if they get there first, then by Ostrom Law, it's theirs. Not that Tolan clean brokers ever lost sleep over any law breaking. 
Uh, Toland Clean this Broker? Toland Clean yeah, Broker? Yeah, that's a new name. Just some chuff huffing pawnsman. Got a shop here in town. Lived in chain scrape since there was a chain scrape. He and Alvin go back a ways. Like a pair of coals in a campfire, those two. So Toland works for Alvin? Ha! <laughs> Alvin might think so. But Toland scrapes up his own scams. And he ain't the type to let a few refugees get between him and Stormbird Salvage. Okay. Well, if I'm up that way, I'll talk to the refugees. Try to convince them to move. Much appreciated. They have it rough. Don't need Tallinn making it rougher. Petra said Tallinn has a shop. And chain scrape. I could have a word with him first. It's a good idea. Where does that take me? Wait, where were those refugees? Oh, it's probably... It's probably... Um, yeah, it's them. Okay, I was a little bit ahead of myself in that. Also, we got some skills to unlock. Uh, oh, that's cool. So shooting, I, I've already forgotten what skills I've gotten. Strike an enemy, melee attacks build up your energy and your spear, then when fully charged, tap R2 to energize your target. Okay. So. First strike an enemy with melee attack, then when fully charged, tap. All right, so jump off it. Oh, that's really cool. So jump off in it. That's cool. All right, so that's all of that. What's what does this one do? Oh yeah, kill us faster. Those are my play styles. That's it. <laughs> We got all these crazy ass melee abilities and we haven't really come across too many enemies yet. Back for that free meal? Wait, I get a free meal? made my free meal his most expensive thing. <laughs> he didn't say there was a limit. He just said free meal. So his fault, not mine. Hey, I thought you'd left by now. <laughs> Who are you talking to? All right, what do you got for me? I I'm sorry. I'll be right with you. Uh... I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm saying it's overkill. It's a weapon. Kill is the point. Not if it blows the user's arm off. Oh, just, just, just stop talking. Where were we? Ah. <clears throat> we were. So, uh, we weren't anywhere. <laughs> you. You look like someone who's always searching for a new weapon. Am I right? Actually, I. Ah. But you're just not. I am with a customer. I. I'm not a customer. I got it! Triple the powder. It'll blow a strider sky high. Ba boom. One shot kill. Guaranteed. Uh, maybe I am. Then you are in the right place at the right time, Red. How would you like to be the proud owner of the world's first machine enhanced, explosive, done in one, machine wrecking, yet perfectly safe, javelin thrower? Um. Yeah. Tell, tell me more about this weapon of yours. I don't really care about them. I, I care about the weapon. When I was a kid, by some Karja scholar who wandered out west, I had a scary drawing of a Tanakh warrior hunting with a kind of javelin thrower. Effective, 
Yes, basic, undoubtedly. But coming out here made me remember it. And I am on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity. Well, Boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better. Namely, with explosive tips. Boomsticks. Why not both? That could work. <laughs> There's one small snag. I need the parts to make the first working model. Well, for starters, I'll need charger horns. Intact. Yeah, that. Just be sure to shoot them off before the machine goes down. Otherwise, they break. But the real innovation, and keep it to yourself, is a fang horn rib. There's a mean one east of here. Blow it sky high. Boomer! You get them for me. It's yours. My treat. You have a deal. Okay. Is that, is that an errand? That's a side... Yeah, that's that's gonna be an errand. Alright, so where is that? Okay, so we're gonna take care of that first. Get the the uh boom stick, if you will. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna we're gonna talk to Tolland. No, because we gotta we're gonna have to come back. Alright, let's get this boom stick. Alright, so we need charger horns, but intact charger horns. I could get around faster and find a charger to override. I, but we're going right there. That's one. That's two horns. Where'd the second one go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> nothing. He saw nothing. That's fine. Oh god, we grew a level for that. I just want to shoot your horns off. I only need one. Got it. I should have enough charger horns for Della and Boomer now. Okay. Just need a... No, we just need. Does that work with? I don't know if that charge up thing works. I don't think it works on non. Uh, I think that charge thing only works on human enemies. I don't think it works on. It's alright, we'll figure it out. Now we need this fanghorn rib. That one we can have killed. Mm, the is full, but my pack has room. <clears throat> Piggy! I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Uh, that's okay. You can live. Today's your lucky day, Piggy. Boomer said that Fanghorn should be nearby. You're not a Fanghorn. There's the Fanghorn. Gonna have to take it down to get its rib. It's weak versus that. Oh, Blaze Canister. There we go. Oh. 
Oh boy. Will you quit it? Oh my god. Excuse me. Jeez. Okay. I need got everything your rib. I need for Dylan Boomer. Now to see about that weapon of theirs. Okay. Not my best, <laughs> but that's fine. Raccoon. How am I doing on sticks? I'll save the extra stock for later. Oh, I got like two hundred. <laughs> I want to see what these booms, boom sticks do. I hope so. Show me what I you got. Know that look. You've got all the parts, haven't you? Here you go. Outstanding. Wow, you I were gone like 45 seconds. Prototype. I'll take the version that won't blow my arms off. Thanks. Hi. So did you blow up any machines to get the parts? Or any bandits? You really like explosions, huh? Here we go. With the boomsticks? Oh, you betcha. Um, is it safe? Probably. <laughs> Can I have one? No. Ah. Cause we're gonna make you something even better. The boom. Spike throwers. Full draw in order to penetrate armor. How do I use them? So is it like a a weapon? Okay. So it's it is a weapon, and. It explodes on contact. What can I use instead of it? The frost bustling, the sharpshoot. I suppose I don't need a shock bow and a tripcaster, but uh, hmm, this is actually a tough decision. We're not going to use it right now. It's fine. Yeah, we're going to do this. I just want to know how I cycle between uh, connected skills. How I cycle between these. Oh, you have to equip it. Oh, okay. Okay. So you can't cycle through them on the fly. They have to be equipped. 
Okay, that makes sense. All right, let's go see what these losers need. Oh, wait, hold on. First. <laughs> First, let's talk to uh, the dude. Let's talk to Talon and learn what... Find out what we can learn about these losers. Can I participate in these? Yeah, wait, I want to be a part of this. You wanted to speak to me? Well, you know better than anyone it's a dangerous world out there. What kind of Not just bondage dude is this? Name's Odur. This here's my training pit. Best place to practice close combat this side of the Forbidden West. Say, I wonder who'd win in a fight. You, the savior of Meridian, champion of the East, or the Enduring, master of the West. Can you see who? through that? The Enduring, a legendary Tanakh fighter, the master of masters. I've I can take Tanakh him. have training pits just like this one. It's how the warriors get so fierce, see? And only the very best from the pits get to train with the Enduring. So, to find the Enduring, I should look for these training pits if I'm ever out that way? You'll have to go far if you do. The Tanakh are split into three clans. Three clans, three capitals, three training pits. My guess is you'd have to beat all of them if you want to train with the Enduring. If the Tanakh don't kill you on sight, that is. But that's a far spark in the wind. As for right now, I also offer challenges to test your fighting skills. Let's do it. Who would I be fighting exactly? You? Well, I know you're the savior and all, but you have to beat all the others first to challenge me. Rules are rules. We only use dual blades and practice arrows, mind. These drunken fools would run themselves through otherwise. You'll have to leave everything but your spear and practice arrows at the gate. But I'll look after your gear, not to worry. So, what do you say? Up for some training? Hell yeah. <laughs> I might be. That's what I like to hear. Yeah, I I want to do this. Uh, practice your melee system. I want to do the challenges. These are all the ones that I've learned. Um. Okay, that's fine. Let's do these challenges. Block breaker. Let's do it. Attacks, your enemy will dodge them. Vary your attacks and combinations. Make yourself less predictable. Oh my god, this guy's getting wrecked. Close attention to your opponent's stance. Read their intentions. I already won. Choose your attacks to break their defense. I already won. The Resonator Blast. Perform melee combos and power attacks to energize your spear faster. Okay. You think your spear can deal with that armor? Use attacks to energize your spear. Then hit your opponent with a heavy four power attack to blast the armor off. Sweet. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, 
Wait, I'm supposed to be using a Resonator Blast. Oh. Oh, hold on. I messed up. I was not paying attention to what I was supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to use a Resonator Blast. Can give you the edge in battle. There we go. Keep energizing it and then your enemies. That was Training teaching me how to use the blast. Help you vanquish your opponents. Okay. That's what I was supposed to Alright, so Pitmaster Challenge. Let's do it. Let's take him. Plan and execute. Yeah. Fight well. I see how you earned your yeah. reputation. I could take her. A good. I see how you. Bows are best against me. I look like a machine. Yield. I yield. <laughs> Do I look like a machine as I'm shooting him with arrows? Well fought, friend. Well fought. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Serves me right for thinking I could go up against the savior of Meridian. Here, have this. A little something for the new champion. Thank you. Thank you, Hodark. Don't be a stranger now. Come back whenever you'd like to spar again. I'm never going to come back ever again. This is a kind of a one and done thing. A pristine skull. Okay. Good luck. Cool. Now we need to talk to. The reason we came here was to talk to Tolland. Nope, this way. There you are. That's uh, you. The machine hunter that bailed out the Karja. Never heard it put that way before. What do you want? Heard you've been hassling refugees up by the cliffs. Yeah, well, you heard wrong. There's salvage up there. A storm bird. Nailed it myself with the harpoon here in town. Not an easy shot if I do say so myself. It clipped its wing. And it crashed into the old tower up there. Killed it quick. So if anyone's hassling anyone, it's the Shadow Karja filth that's blocking the way up to my claim. And you're ready to crack some skulls to get to it? No need. It's a raggedy bunch. Probably all starved before I have to lift a finger. We'll see about that. Oh yeah, we will, won't we? Now shop's closed to Karja lovers. On your blasted way. Alright, well you're a piece of shit. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, let's get a mount. Because I don't want to waste a fast travel pack. Not yet, at least. If we clear out, if we get that, then we can probably go up to that campfire and then get that signal tower. I think, if my memory serves me correct, there was some chargers right here. Yep. You're mine now. Let's go. This is the way. Oh. Piggy! Can I pick up the... <laughs> this is how I hunt. <laughs> Just by running him over. <laughs> Going the wrong way. I'm all the way at the quarry already, wow. Alright, 
back to where we were an hour ago. <laughs> this is how it all started. It's got blitz. It's got bla a blaze canister on its back. Did I get it? not paying attention to my health. Let's try that again. Let's be a little bit more... What are you guys weak against again? Fire. Explode. Oh, <laughs> I was not paying attention. Whew. Got it. I'm so focused right now. That's the last of them. Better check on the refugees. Oof. I ran too fast at it. I keep forgetting that I have all these fancy abilities now that I can use. How you guys doing? Remember me? Is you wouldn't let me pass you? before. Shh, now. Everything will be fine. Is everyone okay? Bruised. But not buried. Our order will live to see another day. Are you sure about that? We're no strangers to hardship, Nora. We've crossed half the Sundom with no more than the clothes on our backs. And as soon as our Sun Priest returns, our path will be clear. For now, we wait. Well, you're better off waiting somewhere else. Your people need shelter. There's a town east of- Chainscrape, yes. 
We know of it. Savohar says it's not suitable for us. Who? Savohar sounds like a douche. Our order has made it this far thanks to his guiding light. Okay, and where is this Savohar? He went up to the tower to meditate three days ago, and he won't come down until the sun shows him the way to our new home. The fallen storm bird is an omen, he said. And of course, it must be. I see. And how long do you plan on waiting for him? Until he returns. He will return. He must. Um... You guys are in danger. Chain scrape, Talland. He wants the Stormbird up there. Yes. He was here just yesterday. A very unpleasant man, even by Osaram standards. He made all manner of threats. But we will not be intimidated. That's all well and good, but he's got friends. Sooner or later, his whole gang will show up. Savohar will come through. He always does. We just need to give him more time. You're out of time, Lakasha. You need to consider packing up and- We won't leave him. And we won't let others disrupt his meditation. Well, they're going to try. But yeah, hold on, I'm just confused about the, the priest, soul priest, sun priest. Savohar. You said he's been up there three days? His meditation can't be finished. <coughs> so he Excuse does me. this often? Meditating for days on end? Well, it doesn't usually take this long. But he Ew, will I sneezed on my through. mic pop filter. He always has. We have faith. Sure. But shelter looks like a more pressing concern. I, uh, I'll get yours. And Osram, I don't really care about you guys. I know. Wait, let me. But his men. At least. The tr Savohar's. It rarely is. Let the Nora pass. Yeah, I don't care about you guys. You guys suck. Just let me through. Your sun priest was able to climb all this by himself? Savahar just kind of sounds like the name of a dude who like sucks. <laughs> Part of the ladder. Akasha was right. The trail's in bad shape. Okay. I think I can reach those beams if I jump against the cliff. Jump against the surface and tap circle to wall jump. Oh, okay. There we go. That's cool. I didn't know we could do that. Have broken off after Savahar passed through. Savahar. Okay. <sighs> broken bridge. I might be able to make the jump to the other side. Here we go. Huh. <laughs> That was not even close. It's a good thing she's strong. Fresh, apparently. He must have hurt himself pretty bad getting over the bridge. It's not looking good. It looks like he left. There's the Stormbird. Getting closer. Where's the Stormbird? Oh, it's on top of the thing. That's cool. Machines. Savahar must have snuck past them. I could probably slip past them. 
Or take them out. Or take them out. Oh, it looks deep enough down below. Oopsies. Oh. I accidentally fell, and that worked out so well. But there's water there. Do something cool like some like jump from above. Critical strike, what are you doing? What are you doing? That's all of them. Man, Aloy is so cool. That's so she's so cool. To like jump onto a thing and launch into the air and then shoot shoot an arrow down at it and then continue going like nothing happened. Sick. Sick stuff, man. Alright, let's keep going. Well that was a bit, a bit of a swing. There's several are in pretty bad shape. The true sun above me, the true sun before me. Show me the way this even time. Yeah, he does not look good. <laughs> the true sun above me. You must be Savahar. The true sun before me. Show me the way this even time. <laughs> Must be empty for the coming vision. You don't need a vision. You need medical attention. On the way up, I saw parts of the trail had given way. Is that how you hurt yourself? My pain. Oh, part of a ritual. You're hurt bad. And your people are running out of time. Staring at the stormbird isn't solving anything. You don't understand the omen. It fell here at the peak. I just need to see the toilet. My people will find their home. I don't really like care about this guy. But, you know, let's hear him out. What do you think's gonna happen here? If you sit long enough, the sun will show you something? A path to a new home. A fallen machine can only mean this. The storm has passed. <laughs> Salvation is a or some Osram shot it and it hit an old tower. Uh, I don't care. Your people are worried about you. They need shelter. Normally Security. I go through all the dialogue options, but this guy, I just don't care. The true sign for show me the way this even time. I think you've been staring at your salvation this whole time. The true sign of me. Gotta get over to that storm bird. Grab its heart. Anything to grab onto? This way. 
Stormbird heart is valuable. Enough to feed all the refugees waiting below. And his answer is sunstroke and a prayer? Why does every priest I meet think blind faith is the answer to everything? Yeah. <laughs> These, these, this guy's a little, a little cuckoo. Just a little cuckoo. The Osram that was watching the refugees probably went to get Tolland. I gotta get them out of here before he comes back. There. The order should be able to afford shelter with this heart. Some food and a change of clothes. Oh, and a signal lens, too. I think that's the last lens. I should trade with Reyna the next time I'm in Baron Light. That was the last lens. Okay. Keep on cruising. Savahar? How you holding up? I need to get back over there. <laughs> that was unnecessary. You okay, buddy? Savar. I guess you did the best you could. Rest easy now. I'll make sure your people are safe. I should let Lakasha know. And give her the Stormbird heart. I gotta go back down this way. That's unfortunate. You know, Aloy is a much more empathetic person than I would be there. Because in my head, I'm thinking, like, well, that guy got what he deserved, right? But what she took from that was, well, I guess you tried your best. Don't make this difficult. Get out of the way. Now, who's with the stubs? I'm a generous gent. Oh, boy. So I'll give you one more chance to make it easy on yourselves and clear out. We won't let you pass, Asaram. If you choose bloodshed, <coughs> that's in your conscience. Ain't it just like the cards you to make things harder than they have to be? Okay, boys. You heard her. Get your consciences ready. Hold on now, Tolland. You again? Listen, I'm all out of patience here. I clipped that Stormbird's wings. What's up the with his hair? Did he like? I don't care who gets in my way. Nora savages or shadow cars or flea bags. I'm taking it. Okay, so what I want to say is like, fuck you, but because we've committed to the heart playthrough. Okay, so you clipped a stormbird, but it's brought you nothing but trouble since. Refugees, squabbles, me. Might be hard to swallow, but it's time to cut your losses, don't you think? Come on, boss. It's not worth it. <sighs> okay. You win. Hey, I'm doing fine. But I need that salvage anyhow. But these people need all the help they can get. Come on, boys. Back to chain scrape. I need a drink. Aloy, again, we thank you. You're welcome. Now take this heart. Use it to buy food, clothes, shelter for your people. Maybe even land to build a new home. I... This is... Savahar must make these decisions. Well, no, Savahar is dead. I'm sorry, Lakasha. Savahar isn't coming back. He's gone. I know it's hard, but your people need a leader now. Go to Chainscrape. 
Talk to the Forge woman there, Petra. Give her the Stormbird Heart. She'll look after you and your people until you can get back on your feet. Find your path. I'll do my best, Aloy. What choice do I have? Here, please accept this. It is modest, but I hope it helps in some small way. I just gave you a Stormbird Heart. Then. What could you be giving me? Okay, some hides. Thanks. Look at us going. We're just going, aren't we? Look at all these skills. <laughs> oh, right. What, what, what was the skill over here? There was no skill over there. That's a nice one. Oh my god, I want that. Load up to three arrows. Is that is that the same bound to the same thing? While aiming, tap R1 to load another arrow. Yeah. Oh, but wait. So... Will it not let me if I have that skill equipped? Because... Cause I, oh, I have to switch techniques. Oh, okay. Okay. Got it. I have to switch techniques in order to do that. So, okay, it's a different technique. Got it, got it, got it. No big deal. Let's see what's going on here. On our way down. And then maybe we move on. Maybe we do a main story mission. Probably not. Can I jump off of a cliff with these guys? No. No, I can't. Now I'm stuck. Now I'm stuck. Oh boy. Oh boy. I, uh, I got stuck. <laughs> it was beautiful. Let's not take our mount off of a cliff again this time. <laughs> Did we select? No, I just want to see what that what this unknown question mark is.
Don't tell me what to do. I thought I could jump over that. I was wrong. She can jump up that. There we go. Oh, that's what it was? My stash? Well, that's good. I guess I'll fill up my stash. Why would I want to buy that? Okay. Let's see what I can upgrade. Let's do the pouches first. Fire Hunter arrow, I'll take that. Okay, that was good. Success. Now let's, let's go, let's, let's get the embassy going. can finally get this embassy going. Oh boy, look at all that rot. It's crazy he's gone out this far. Even the meat's not as good. Blighted meat. Come on, buddy. Even my stash. Might be worth taking a look around too. I haven't even gotten into the Forbidden West. Looking for a real challenge? Play no. Here, I got another thing is for you. Is that what I think it is? Yup. Now you've got all your lenses. My pops would be sad they're tearing down those towers, but he'd be happy these lenses were spared. Many thanks to you, Aloy. Oh, and here. My reward? What I owe you. Now, this has truly been a profitable endeavor for the both of us. So what are you going to do next? I'm taking these back to the claim. Ankles all better, and I miss the stench of soot in the air. Let's hope you don't find any more opportunities on your way there. <laughs> no promises. Good luck, Aloy. What did she give me? Okay. Let's see what you got. Ooh. What is this? A slicing shredder gauntlet? What? A knockdown sharp shot bow. Explosive bass sling, explosive trip caster. I'm okay for now. Yeah, I think I'm okay for now with that. Oh, 
here then. Let's see what you got. Oh, the same two? Nora Sentinel. Concentration, stamina, regeneration, but I need a Sky Drifter circulator. I am always open to trade. Are you? Because you weren't before. Let's take a look at what this new quest is as we're going through. There's errand. Looks like he's had a few. Savior! For the love of Dawn, Conover. Savior. Let's see what this is. You're my last hope. Conover. She's Meridian's savior, not yours. It's just Aloy. What do you want? Please, no one will listen. But the Eclipse, they're here in the Daunt. Really, Conover? Aloy's the one that defeated them. You're bothering her with this hogwash now? Some of them must have fled west after the battle at the Alight. I saw one of our sentries, Lorovic, sneaking off to meet with one. I tried to eavesdrop, but they spotted me. And then Lorovic tried to kill me. I... fought back. It was him or me. Unfortunately, there's no hard evidence that connects Larovic to the Eclipse. And since Conover doesn't deny killing his fellow soldier, Nozar sentenced him to death. What makes you so sure Larovic was working with the Eclipse? Well, I was too far to hear everything. But I heard them both say the word Eclipse. It's not the most outlandish claim I've heard, but it's up there. Crying Eclipse is a convenient way to dodge a death sentence. If I have to die, so be it. But if we ignore this threat, others are going to die too. Why does nobody believe you? Why don't you? you believe him? We combed the woods, searched Laravik's bunk, searched it again, didn't find anything. Look, Conover's a good man. I don't believe he murdered Laravik in cold blood. But Nazar only listens to facts. And that fact is, Conover killed his fellow sentry. He doesn't deny it. Right? No, but more eclipses are out there. And considering there's no evidence backing up this eclipse story, well, we can't question a dead man. Nozar's on edge with the upcoming embassy and doesn't want distractions. But hey, if you find a bunch of eclipse soldiers hatching an evil plot in the woods, please do let us know. Yeah, wait, I, I'm Tell gonna do exactly that though. What Tell happened. me what happened. Weeks ago. During a shift change, some trespassers slipped through the gate. By the time anyone noticed, they were halfway out the canyon. Nozar didn't see the need to give chase. Let the Tanakh take care of them, he said. Nozar's not one to be sidetracked. He tightened up the patrol schedules, reprimanded the sentries, and everyone moved on. But I couldn't stop thinking about it. None of us are careless out here. Meaning, someone left it open on purpose. And Larovic, well, he's always grumbling about officers. But on this, he was too quiet. And after the incident, he started acting different, jumpy. So when I spotted him sneaking out of the barracks after hours, I followed. I found him arguing with a stranger. And when Larovic mentioned the eclipse, I, I tried getting closer, but they heard me. The stranger took off, and Larovic lunged at me with his knife. Instincts took over. Sentries heard the scuffle and found me standing over his body. Okay, so... The meeting you witnessed. Did you hear anything else about their plans? No. But the clearing where they met is just east of here, across the river. A dozen soldiers have already searched at Conover. East. There's nothing there. I can see things others can't. If the Eclipse are in the Daunt, I'll find them. Thank you, Aloy. Sun bless your search. Don't get your hopes up, soldier. So... <laughs> Let's see what that looks like on the map. Okay. So... <laughs> we're... Episode 3. Like, almost 10 hours. Sorry. 6 hours and 15 minutes in. 
And we haven't even gone to the Forbidden West in Horizon Forbidden West. This is the Forbidden West. We're still in this opening area and we're on level we're level eight. And we one hundred percent are going over here. <laughs> Dude, if the shadow card just in still around, I want to do something about it. They were the villains of the first game, lest you forget. So, if they're shadow cards, we're taking them out. End of story. Piggy. There's like only pigs here. Get that alive. So what am I looking for exactly? This must be the clearing where Conover says he saw the eclipse. Blood stains. It's as good a place to start as any. Yeah, it's blood stains. Pretty sure this is where Conover killed that guard. Maybe my focus can tell me if there really was a third person here. I see plenty of tracks from the car to search party. Not helpful. Broken branches. Was someone up here? Was someone up there? These look different. Faint tracks leading away from barren light. I should be able to follow them with my focus. Let's see where this leads. Maybe Conover wasn't lying after all. Let's find out. I've lost the trail. There's too many machines walking around. Maybe I can pick up the tracks once I'm past them. Sneak past or kill, it says. Whoops. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. What are you doing all the way up there? It. Come check it out. I've been made. Oh. Did it go? Oh man, <laughs> I missed the pig. There it is. Oh no, that's a supply cache. Sweet. But where did the trail go? Blood. A lot of it. Yeah, 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 we're following the blood. D 
Does it want me to examine it over here? I can't just keep going? Okay, fine. Whoever the runner was, fine. this machine must have slashed him. Should be easy to follow the blood trail with my focus. Okay. Looks like you're headed for that bridge. Have I gone this way yet? Yeah, I have. Is that the end of this trail? What exactly are we looking for? Bandages. Looks like the runner tried to treat their wounds before they went on. I should be able to follow their tracks. Where did you go off to? Okay. This way. How funny the would it be? Here. Oh. Must have climbed up to that cave. With a injury, I'll bet he's on his last legs. After all this, we find out that the dude in the jail cell actually just, like, did it. Like, was guilty. And is claiming there to be something that wasn't there. This looks like a good place for someone to hide. Call this an old kid. Yeah. What are we supposed to do now? We stay on track and make our way out west. I can grab this from my stash later. I like how she called this a cave. We have to find it. But it's a tunnel. Oh. No Larvik's dead. He hasn't shown at the rendezvous point. Oh shit. That fool guard killed him, or he lost his nerve. We'll just have to blast our way through the gates. And then, Rayab was our only link to Vezra, and now he's dead too. We'll track Vezra if we have to. But first we have to get past Baron Light. Next change of guard, we go in fast and loud. Conover was right. I have to stop them before they hurt what? anyone else. <laughs> How did he see that? That gave me like no opportunity to I've waited for this. Were you? Sure there's more of them outside. I better be careful. We'd better search. Better we find her than she finds us. Uh hello. Really? Thank you. Somebody there. <laughs> I thought you brought it. And that takes care of that. Let's 
sounds like there's more eclipse beyond the dot. With this, Rayad was their only link to them. He might have a focus. He could tell me where they are. Search the hideout for Rayad's corpse. Is it up here? Dragon Shade is what it's called. Why does it keep telling me to go here? I'm oh. guessing that's where I had. Blood trail must have been his. He bled out trying to get here. I was right. Rayad has a focus. Does have a focus. You've left the Sundom in search of something to follow. Your journey is almost over. Follow the sun beyond the gates of barren light. And bask in the gloom of future conquest. A new empire awaits. Oh, good. Oh, you know. I have to pay this Vesra a visit. Who crushes new Eclipse Empire before it begins. There's coordinates here. Up past Baron Light. Okay. Ryad's mask should be enough to prove Conifer's innocence. Oh, okay. I better take it back to Baron Light. So there's. Oh my goodness. Oh, what's up, son? Uh. So that means that the Shadow Karja are still a thing. What's the Enduring? Oh, right. So the Shadow Karja are still a thing. I mean, I guess it's it, sh it should have assumed that um, there would be something like splintering off, that there would be some remnants of it. Uh, that just sucks, though. We worked so, we worked so hard to get rid of them. <laughs> Stuff for the stash. When we fought the eclipse back in Meridian, I thought that'd be the end of it. That's what I just said. I guess I was wrong. I need a new mount. You. You're my new pet. Let's go. Uh. Come on. Come on, you son of a bitch. Let's let's turn this in and then finally <laughs> for the first time in an entire episode do a main story quest. All right, I'm done with you. Ow. All the fishies. All right, we're back at Baron Light finally. Oh, Let's prove that that dude's innocent. There's Aaron. That looks like he's had a few. Look alive, soldier. She's back. Aloy! Did you find anything? Yeah, boy. We sure did. Eclipse fugitives were camped out on the other side of the forest. And they were getting ready to fight their way through Baron Light. 
You just helped save a lot of <clears throat> lives. Aloy, you know I believe you. But Nozar, he might not be convinced by your words alone. If he needs proof, show him that. And tell him the man he's got locked up risked his life to expose and eliminate an Eclipse spy. Huh. I guess you are his savior. Congratulations, soldier. You're a free man. I'll have you out of there before sunfall. I'll make sure this gets to Nozar. That's it, then. The end of the Eclipse. No, unfortunately. Almost. The trespassers you mentioned, the ones who got through Baron Light weeks ago, their leader is dangerous. And he's out there, in the Forbidden West, building up an army. Sun and Shadow, you're going out there to stop him, aren't you? I'm gonna try. I want to help. I can fight. I know you can. But you've been through a lot. Once you're out of that cell, you should enjoy your freedom. You've earned it. Take them out, savior. I'm telling you, I'm calling it. Aloy is going to spend this entire game being like, I can, I'm can. i better on my own, I'm better on my own, blah, blah, blah. And then finally, at the end, it's going to be everybody else that ends up saving her. I bet you. I'm calling it. I'm calling it here. What, what does this do? Silent Strike deals more damage. Yeah, I want that. <laughs> Let's keep going down this path, though, because we got a lot here. Depletes more slowly. Craft more ammunition from the same amount of resources. I like that. How far down does this go? Oh, wow. And how much do these cost? Five. All right, let's talk to you, Aaron. Because you stopped drinking, gentlemen. That's our cue. Oh, she's gonna be mad at him. You taking the edge off? Huh. Well, I mean, I'd ask you to join, but who'd be left to save the world, right? <clears throat> All right, now let me guess. You're in a rush, right? So, uh, whatever you need, ask away. How you been? <laughs> How have things been since I... Your silent departure? <laughs> yeah, not bad. Vanguard's going strong. Helped Avad pick up the pieces after the battle with the Eclipse. And I took a month to bury Ursa in the clay. But when I got back, I got the assignment to babysit Wadis on his way to the embassy. I thought that'd be a cakewalk, so of course things went sideways. You got blindsided. It wasn't your fault. <laughs> Up more of these, maybe I'll believe you. I was, um, wondering if you were able to lay Ursa to rest like you wanted. Uh, yeah, 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 we did. Uh, just seen the crowd that showed up to pay their respects. Half of them owed her a favor, and the other half, the other half owed her their lives. In the end, everybody drank. You know, that's the rowdiest funeral since, uh, what? since ever <laughs> feels like she would have liked that yeah damn straight damn straight she would have put them all under the table so what's going on with the embassy what do you know about the embassy oh yeah not much only that avad really wants it to happen he said i'm making peace with these to knock but from what i hear they're not too big on the whole diplomacy thing they do most of their talking with blades and arrows so if you're heading their way, be prepared. Things might get ugly real fast. I'll keep that in mind. What do you know about this place? No, nothing good. It's where the Karja dragged all the captives they took from the Forbidden West during the Red Raids. Lucky ones became slave labor. The rest were hauled off to the Sun Ring and Meridian. Your sacrifice. You got it. Tanakh made sure to wreck the place before they chased the Karja out of the west. I can't say I blame them. And now Avad's paying the Osram to rebuild it. And no matter how much new stone they put up, it'll still be stained in blood. All 
All right, well, I, um, I'm out. <laughs> I better get going. Oh, nice yeah, seeing you, Aaron. You. Just, are you, are you sure about this? Yeah, I'm saving the world. That's, that sounds like a lot for just one. Aaron. Yeah, all right. Can't blame me for trying. I, I guess what I'm really trying to say is, if you ever do need me, I know where to find you. Hopefully sober next time. Yeah, don't count on it. Be careful out there, Aloy. Okay. Let's do it. Main story. Lighten up, Paiv. You've got a thick wall of stone. Are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies, no. That would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, the second in command. So, what brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studius Waris is here, we can finally get things underway. Ah, <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really that sounds seems like, him. like his scrolls. But the embassy remains delayed. Why? Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh marshals have yet to sound their horn. All right, fine. Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do, but I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Can't? Normally, the or gates won't. are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakh have left. Okay. So what happens at these embassies exactly? Yeah. What is Mostly this? trade and negotiation. The Karja offer tribute of food, spices, and gear. In exchange, the Tanakh return personal effects taken from Karja soldiers that fell during the Red Raids. This particular embassy, however, is a special case. Because the Tanakh, they're handing over some sort of prisoner, right? A soldier named Fashav? Ah, so you've heard. The exchange has got everyone on edge. You never know if an embassy's going to go well until it's practically over. And what about these Tanakh? You said something about Tanakh marshals. Who are they? They're the tribe's elite warriors. Before every embassy, they arrive with a contingent of soldiers from each of their three clans. Then, during the proceedings, they negotiate on behalf of their leader. And by negotiate, I mean stare down our sun priest until they concede. Paiv over here came face to face with them for the first time at the last embassy. <laughs> came back drenched in his own sweat. It was hot that day, sir. <laughs> it was indeed. <laughs> Alright, so where's Nozar? Where is this Commander Nozar, then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The Commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high-strung. We'll see about that. This way. There's a lot of activity going on around here. The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raids. Two years of labor, we still have a long way to go. The work stoppage and chain scrape nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. But I hear a certain Nora got them back to work. It was, I was me! It. I yes, was the Nora. Sure That's a steep ramp. Are you Nozar? Stand aside, soldier. Sir? You know, sir. Answer me. Commander, brace yourself and good luck. How are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? <clears throat> ah, Aloy, was it? Yes, the one who cleared the valley for you. 
that, Aloy. <laughs> we appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be cut. Shut up. <laughs> Why the delay? The Tanakh are a tribe composed of three clans. How many banners do you see? <sighs> You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. <sighs> oh, this isn't some forgotten corner of the East where you come from, Nora. It's the Forbidden West. If you don't like it, run back to Meridian. File a complaint. The Meridian I saved, you mean? That's right. Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh's horn has sounded. Not even the savior of Meridian. Now I'm going. Well, thanks, but I've waited long enough. It's time to go. Absolutely not. This embassy depends on diligent adherence to... You shall not! Keep telling yourself that. Someone approaching! On a machine! Oh. And he shaved. <laughs> Open the gates, please. Do not let her through that gate. That is a direct order. Sorry, can't do it. Sir, it's the savior. I don't care if it's a balance between herself. The gate is sealed until that horn blows. I'm asking nicely. I, I don't know what to do. Hey, Bar. Hi, Aaron. Uh, What's happening? I you know the usual. Aloy wants something. People Open try to stand in her way. It's not gonna work. Oh, that's it. Arrest her. I'd like to see you try. Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. Hey, nose off. You stupid bastard. You think you got the authority to keep that door shut in the savior of Meridian's face? What, what do you think Sun King of Vod is gonna do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? Let it through, boys. Good point. Saving the world. Forget something back in Meridian? Look, Thorl. It doesn't matter. I made it just in time. Wait, so Varl's coming? So this tribe that Murad told us about, the Tanakh, we need their permission to go west? Yeah, well, I figured it'd be nice if they weren't trying to kill me the whole time. But this embassy hasn't started yet. We're just gonna barge in? There's no more politics. No more delays. Oh, well. Now at least you have some backup. I guess I do. We'll see how it goes. What is that one? Okay. Here it is. The Tanakh. Our first look at them. That is the line between East and West. Cross it and die. Hold on now. Let's take it easy. None may walk this valley until our signal sounds. That was our accord with the Karja. I'm not Karja. I came here on my own to ask for rite of passage. But they opened the gate for you, did they not? What is the meaning of this violation? Why send a child? Do they want to parley or not? The Karja can't be trusted. This is no. Forget the Karja. This has nothing to do with them. I need to go west to save lives. Maybe even yours. The only lives you can save are your own. By turning back. Now. Hold! She's telling the truth about one thing. She's not Karja. 
She's a Nora from the Savage East. We just call it the she East, seeks but you know. To save lives, should we not listen? Let me speak to her. One last favor for a fellow marshal before he's taken away. He's not wearing shoes. None of them are. A fearless red-headed Nora. You must be the so-called savior of Meridian. Just Aloy. I am unyielding Fashav. Once of the Karja High Command, last of the army of the setting sun. You're Fashav. Vard gave me a message for you. That he waits for you in Meridian where you belong. Hmm. <laughs> Avad always was polite. Well, now I'm even more curious about you knowing that you have the confidence of the Sun King. But such an association with the Karja could work against you, as it often has with me. As you can see, tensions are high. This embassy is a delicate affair. They're about to return me to the Sundom, a gesture that might help soothe painful grievances. And now you arrive, unheralded. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just need to go west. So you say. I might be able to help. <clears throat> but? But I need to know why. Along with some assurance that I won't regret it. Um. That's what the I've tattoos. I've never seen markings like those on a Karja before. The Karja see ink is decoration. For the Tanakh, it is much more. A litany of deeds. A record of vanquished enemies. Looks like you've vanquished quite a few. I've fought my share of battles. But I feel that my life, like my markings, is only half complete. This side shows my martial deeds. Before I die, I'd like to see the other half marked with the laurels of peace. How did you come to be among the Tanakh? It's quite a story, but not a quick one. Though I suppose neither of us is going anywhere before the embassy begins. Uh, give me the quick version. Are you sure you want to hear it? No. No. I think I've heard enough for now. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> you asked why I need rite of passage. I'll tell you, but you won't like my answer. Six months ago, the world almost ended in Meridian. That threat still exists. It's getting worse every day, much worse. Calling down storms, poisoning the water, enraging the machines. The source of it all has gone west, and I'm the only one who can stop it. I've seen the signs, and I've heard tales of incredible occurrences in Meridian, an army of demons vanquished by a red-haired champion. So I'm inclined to believe you. The burden of your task is written across your face clearer than any mark of mine. But... I'll grant you this. To serve as proof of your right to travel into Tanakh lands. A task so important. And it's just the two of you. Take it from one who aspires to be a diplomat. Allies are essential. Chief Akaro knows the West better than anyone. He may be able to help you. He can be intimidating to others, but don't let that deceive you. He is a man of his word. Maybe. If I need him. Your choice. You can find him at his palace, past the mountains to the southwest. Tell him I sent you, and he'll listen to Look! Him. The Sky Clan's banner! <clears throat> Oh, damn. Marshals. It wasn't easy, but I brought the Sky Clan with me. And the commander? Uh, no. I could only convince a few. He isn't yet aware we left. We have banners from all three clans. If there are fewer from the Sky Clan, it can't be helped. He's right. Sound the horn. 
all Tanakh can stomach the idea of parlay with the Kaja. But enough have come for us to begin. Then I'll be on my way. No. The other marshals will not permit it. You wanted safe passage, you have it. After. have opened the gates. Look at all these politics. I'm so invested. I'm sorry. I apologize for being as quiet as I am. I'm so invested in this. As the sun rises over a land at war, so too can it set over a land at peace. Today is such... Hear me, marshals! You who claim to be Tanakh! Regala, Chief Akaro's biggest mistake. A rival whom he should have killed. You have forgotten that our people were born in blood. The blood of the Karja. Instead, you pledge your spears to a chief who conspires with the enemy. Hikaru has betrayed us. The embassy is proof. And all of you marshals are his accomplices. For this, I condemn you to death. You'll need more than toothless threats to intimidate us. Exile. Ooh. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's a new one. Oh, she's going to ride it. They're all riding it. They're riding machines. Where'd they learn to do that? Silence. Vashav, come with us now, or not at all. Archer, light them up. Get to cover. Ah. Ah. What happened? 
Can you see? It's just us now. Hey! Come down and fight fair! Lancers! Take the center! Get ready! Oh shit. Oh shit. Stick to cover! Archers on the ridge! Here they come! Oh my god, okay. Fill her with arrows! Kill the riders! She's hit! That's gonna take out all them. Gonna explode, everybody get out of the way. Lightning. Oh my god, I kicked from behind. Who else is going? Who else is there? Granted. 
Oh my god. I thought this was gonna be like a five minute thing and over with. Okay. Get him to the camp. Now. You okay, Varro? You gonna make it? You're going on without me, aren't you? Yep. Guess I'm stuck with Aaron for now. Come on, I'll take you back to the fort. It's salvage time, boys. Got our glider. Aloy. We're still trying to sort out this mess. Seems like the Tanakh have a civil war in their hands. That sounds about right. The marshals weren't expecting Regala to attack. And the entire Karja delegation was slain. Nozar, Vwadis, Peshav. A massacre. What will you do now? I have to head west. Hopefully this rite of passage is still good. For what I'm after, I'll cross all of Tanakh's territory if I have to. Then you have a long road ahead of you. This is only the threshold of the Forbidden West. The Tanakh's true domain 
lies over the mountains that border Plainsong, home of the Utaru tribe. This isn't Tanakh's territory? All that out there? That's no man's land. It was supposed to be neutral ground, though obviously this Regala ignored that. Her rebels approached from the north, with all those machines they were riding. They must have made camp up that way. The rebels were riding bristlebacks. And there were bristlebacks in the Daunt. Are you saying the rebels let them into the Daunt? How would that even be possible? I don't know. But it's worth looking into. While you're at it, there were a number of Karja and Asuram who went out there before the gates were shut for the embassy. Maybe you could check in on them. See if they're all right. I can keep an eye out. Is there a tall neck somewhere nearby? A tall neck? There's that one, over there, near the Utara border, but why... It's, uh, it's hard to explain. It'll help me get the lay of the land. If you say so. Is there anything else I can tell you before you go? No. No, there's nothing else you can tell me because I'm done. <laughs> I, so I thought that... I thought that the that mission was going to happen and it was just going to be done, like, no problem. And that's my fault because I'm playing a Horizon game. I should have known that that wasn't going to be the situation. I should have known something was going to go wrong. I just, I thought it was going to be like, all right, here's the open world, feel free, and now you can stop. I didn't know a full-on, like, civil war was going to happen. So, damn. Intense. Okay, so that's all we got for today. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Um, like I said at the top of the video, uh, part one and two are below and also on YouTube. So make sure you go check it out there if you missed it. And yeah, I'm going to digest all that, unpack it at the start of the next video. We'll discuss it. So anyway, that's it. That's all I got. So we'll see you guys probably on Friday. So stay safe and peace out.